We're back again, Mission Raceway out for another night of drag racing. This is actually one of my favorite nights of the year because it's actually the Volkswagen drag racing night. So a lot of the local guys with their Volkswagen Golfs, their Beetles, as well as some of the guys with their Audi, some RS3s came out, an S4. I'm looking forward to getting a lot of cool cars on the channel. Everybody local within the Vancouver scene brought their car out to see what they can do on the track rather than on the street. I got my subframe bushing all fixed up, repaired, got that done car seems pretty dialed in we checked it over rider performance as always give it the once over making sure everything appears to be good now a lot of people have been asking me like what have you done different why are you able to go slightly faster than the everyday guys besides the average stripping of the interior which is probably about 300 pounds um, nothing I'm running the same production file that any custom code user can use I use a custom code stage 2 plus injector only file because I've upgraded the injector so I can run pure E85 uh, one of the other guys today with his Audi RS3 is also custom code tuned with the exact same tune that I have except tonight he's running on street tires and he's only removed his back seat. So it'll be a good comparison to kind of see how much of a difference there is just between small little mods. I have the majority of all IROS parts, the inner cooler, the downpipe, the mid pipes, I have the integrated engineering intake, as well as the turbo inlet. But besides that, he has other parts. So it'll be a good comparison to kind of see people running the exact same tune, but people that have different parts. So I hope you guys are enjoying this week's footage. I hope you like all the different Volkswagens and the Audis. As you can here, there's no racing behind me. Uh, it actually got here and it turned out that there was a huge leak on the track. So it'll give plenty of time for the car to cool down and be ready to rip it down the quarter mile. Thanks everyone for watching. Love yeah, these Volkswagen cool. nights, people coming out. You guys saw this Volkswagen. Wearing a helmet, Golf but that's R, a rag top, so that's a rule regardless. Coming out to see how we can do. Plenty of Volkswagens. Super excited to see how everyone does. All right, so first time up, first run of the night. We fixed the control arm bushing, but when we were doing that, we noticed that there was a little play in the subframe itself. So I think over all this hard racing and hard launches, it may have loosened it up a bit. So we torque those back to spec. Everything should be locked down and ready to go. So I'm hoping the car performs well. We're gonna see though, um, anything can happen. I'm actually racing a buddy of mine. Uh, I actually had our race previously on the channel last year. He runs a Volkswagen Golf R with a stage two APR tune. So excited to see how he does. I think at the beginning of this season, I also did a video, I think he ran an 11.5. So I'm gonna give him a head start. I haven't told him that, but I'm gonna see if I can catch up and fly by him like I did last week. Well, I didn't actually fly by him when I raced my buddy John in his ZL1. So anything can happen. I'm excited to see if this works. Hall deck switch off. Oh, that didn't work. I gotta turn off my Let's do that again, shall we? I forgot to turn off my traction control. There we go. Continuous recording will now start. GPS connected. There we go. Nope. E brake first. Connect to a Wi Fi network. See how we do. Being a bit rusty.
That was a rough run. Too long. Didn't even know what I was doing. That was a horrible run, but still fun. <laughs> 10-6. Ah, hard shifts. Felt squirrely on the launch. Let's see what we got. 60 foot, it says 162, so I might be at like a 159. Oh, I'm rusty. It's been a couple weeks since I went out to the track and it shows. That was terrible. 10-6, 131, 60 foot of 158. That was a crap run, but super fun to race against friends. Uh, he's not gonna like that, that I purposely gave him a head start so I could catch up and beat him in the end, but it's just good times. Uh, hopefully I'll improve throughout the night and get back to that 10-3 at 132. Well, it's a super busy night tonight at the track. Not many runs are gonna be had, but I'm still having a blast. There are a lot of cars here, a lot of people that I know through the community, through the Volkswagen and Audi community of the local scene that came out to race or just to watch and cheer us on as we go. That was a really fun race against Chip. Uh, he wasn't too pleased that I let him go and then tried to catch up and pass him, but it is what it is. Crap run on my part. I felt like it was the first time I was ever drag racing. Uh, screwed up at the beginning because I forgot to turn off my traction control and that's one of the first steps of doing a burnout is making sure that traction control is dialed off before you turn off your Haldex switch. I don't want to break anything so I'm trying to do thing everything by the book so I had to restart the car in order to get that going again but it is what it is. I'm not a professional. I don't claim to be. I'm just a guy out here having a blast with my RS3 trying to go as fast as I can in the quarter mile. So I'm going to let it cool down and then I'm going to head out for my second run. I found the other RS3s. They were hiding but I found them. One of them's gonna run, as I spoke earlier, custom code, stage two, injectors only. But he's running in more of a street trim, street trim. Street tires, only weight reduction is his passenger or his rear seats removed. So it'll be a good comparison to kind of see the guys that go balls out and take it like crazy seriously like me, to more of an average guy who just wants to go out, run quick times and have fun. But super stoked, a lot of friggin' badass cars here. The Volkswagens and the Audis, I can't get enough of them. Black on black, it looks minty fresh. And then there's Theo's RS3, which I've shown on the channel before. In more of a street trim. Race number two, first race was horrible. <laughs> Actually embarrassed for myself that that's what ended up happening, but such is life. Uh, going out again, uh, there's a few cars in front of me this time, so the car might have a bit of heat soak, but it is what it is, I'm getting up when I can get up. Uh, I'm trying out the same stuff. Uh, I felt like the car was a little squirrely last time. Um, I know that when we fix the control arm bushing, uh, we may have thrown out the alignment. I'm not 100% sure. The wheel isn't dead center, but I don't think it's that bad enough that it's gonna throw it off. But in drag racing, everything matters. So you never know. So just gonna go out there, rip it again, and see how I can do. All right. Second time up. Well, it looks like I'm just racing against it I think it's a Mark IV Golf. So I think I'm just going to take it easy, build that boost, let him take off, and then see if I can catch up to him and go for a better time than last time rather than trying to beat my opponent.
See if I can get a better sticky launch this time. Last time was ugly. Hopefully the transmission locks down. My 60 foot was 1.53. That might be my best 60 foot to date. But those shifts, they were not crisp. They were not accurate. Um, so yeah, better launch, but just gotta get those shifts dialed in. Uh, I think I switched to manual in fourth, and I might have hit the gear shift a little too late, and I think it might have hit the limiter slightly, so that slowed me down. And then I think it was the one, two or the two, three. I'll have to watch back on video. It goes by really quick, those 10 seconds. And I'm not too sure why it didn't shift as it was supposed to. So second run down, a little better, but it still doesn't feel quite right. Those shifts are not hitting crisp like they usually do. Not only that, it feels like the alignment might actually be ruining that launch slightly with a little bit of the, the wheel not being exactly straight from changing those control arm bushings today. So I'll have to bring it in for an alignment this week. Hopefully next time I'm out at the track, it'll be better, but cooling down the car and I'll get back out there again. All right, so tonight, I've only had two runs so far. This is gonna be my third run and my final run. It was extremely busy tonight. I'm actually not too saddened by the fact that I only got three runs in. I truly feel like the alignment's off, a little something's funky. It's not quite running as well as it should be. So not the end of the world, can always get back to uh, uh, the shop to make sure that it is all dialed in and the alignment is good for the next time I get out to the track. So power wise, it's still trapping about the same. It's just the gear shifts and I don't know, it just feels a little squirrely off the launch. and. Yes, I have drag radials and there's more oomph in the launch now, but it just, it doesn't feel quite right. So hopefully this race, this will be even better. 10-4, 10-3, here's to hoping, but uh, I don't have very high expectations at this point. Okay, third and final run of the night. <laughs> been the longest burnout I've ever done. Hope it holds together for this run. I'd like to do better on the final run of the night. DA is about 800 by the way. with drag racing what it is that isn't quite right could be the alignment could be a bit of spin I'm not too sure uh, draggy it reads a 10.5 right on the money so I probably ran a 10.4 there um, my 60 foot was a 157 so that probably means my fit 60 foot was the best I've ever run this time it'll be interesting to see what the time slip says nope <laughs> Draggy was almost bang on on that one. 10.5 at 132. Uh, 60 foot was a 154. So I did have a better 60 foot last time. I think it was a 153. But yeah, my car, just the transmission is not banging through the gears like it usually does. Um, it was hitting red line on a couple occasions. It's just not as smooth tonight. But it is what it is. Uh, 
can only hope for better next time. So I'm gonna call it a night, get the car packed up and head on home. It was a amazing night tonight. Uh, great to see so many Volkswagens and Audis. Sadly, I wasn't able to get much footage of all of the different guys that were out tonight because I wanted to race. And normally I'm able to sit out here and there to make sure I get footage of the other guys, but I wanted to get up every chance I could because I only got those three runs in tonight. So that's it, calling it a night. Had a great time out. Uh, car didn't perform as well as I hoped, but it is what it is. Can hope for a better time next time. Uh, two days from now is actually the Great Canadian Volkswagen Show as part of the Great Canadian Weekend. Uh, tonight was the Volkswagen Drag Racing. They're doing an event tomorrow, and then I'm actually gonna participate in the Great Canadian Volkswagen Show on Sunday. With that being said, it is calling for rain. If it rains, I am not going out. It's Vancouver, it rains a lot. It's been beautiful for weeks now, but it's actually calling for rain. So not sure if I'm gonna be going out or not, but if it is clear and dry skies, I'll be there to bring you guys the footage of the actual show itself and all the different badass Volkswagens and Audis that uh, everyone in the lower mainland and in the Pacific Northwest that come out to this show have. So thank you everyone for watching. Please subscribe, like, and share. Make sure you hit that notification button so you're notified when I upload new content to the channel to hopefully entertain you guys. Uh, next Wednesday, I'm back out at the racetrack. Hopefully the car's more dialed in and that alignment's done and I get back to running those 10 threes, hopefully even a 10 two. Thanks everybody for watching.